built up before it's been built. For the good reason, it's either to review our concept, it's either to talk with the investor or convince the local government for us to build a project. So this is what I will go through with you today on how to look at our project begin uh, before it's been built. So my name is Jun and I've been around in this uh, local market of industrial, sorry, uh, construction and uh, real estate market in about a decade. In a role of design and design management and also project management of all the category from architecture to urban. Uh, also, a, a part of my job where it's support a lot is about visualization, the concept and the final product. That's why I've been having the honor to collaborate with GSI as their visualization specialist. So on the screen is a quick capture of my portfolio in the last 10 years, uh, conclude of various projects that you can see. And the thing is that most of the picture you see here, I actually do the visualization myself with a very big help of the real-time rendering because it could make the thing really easy. So in the last section, uh, we have demonstrated how all plan work very well with Lumion. So today, we will be talking about all plan work also very well with another engine rendering, which is twin motion. And we will be demonstrating about infrastructure because it can collaborate very well with all plan in just one click. And not just all plan bridge, actually other products like all plan or ArchiCAD is also very well collaboration. So once they work together, we can experience the design to really stick in a few manner of minutes that I will demonstrate right after. The, uh, also, Twin Motion also provides an uh, interaction uh, usage that's very realistic that can help us to step-by-step -step visualize what is happening from the beginning to the end with a very good quality of lighting setup. And creation tool is very interact, as you can see in the picture. The base here is actually a model from all plan bridge and all plan with the road, and all the surrounding of the natural context will be provided by Twin Motion with a massive uh, library of components that we can find in the software. And also, last but not least, we can also demonstrate quickly the construction and the facing uh, using the two software working very well with each other. So this is a very quick uh, introduction on the feature of the project. So now I would like to demonstrate very quickly, step by step, the workflow from the end to the be from the beginning to the end. So on the screen, on the left hand side is the all plan, and on the right hand side, the motion. We start it from here. Okay. So we can import the model from all plan to two motion in a few clicks that uh, you can click in the visual tab of all plan, go to twin motion directly, and then you go to twin motion and you do one click, that you set up that, okay, we directly link with the all plan file, and click import. And this is where we already have the model in twin motion to start. All right, so project need the context. We want to know where is the project because we want to work directly with the context the surrounding context, so we put in some material first and Twinmotion provides us a function where we can input the urban location from online that we can easily find the correct location of the project and just in a few seconds, we're already there we already put the bridge in the correct location of some day so now we want to use Twinmotion creation tool to start to, to make the background look realistic of how it should be by on the screen now I'm doing the water body input yes because it's a river so we want to start with the river first and then after that I'm thinking normally my, my tip is I want to start right away with the natural because I want myself to be out there with the project with the location uh, it's also a way that I keep myself entertainment, entertaining because it's, it's more likely to work out there in the natural. So I started to put in some uh, plan and two motion function is really great on, you know, it can combine all the cluster of plan various and planting them uh, at the same time very quickly that you can generate how the project already look like with a lot of green. We, we all love how the size should be green. 
So we can start to see that, okay, our project is being built in the natural context. So also another simple but very powerful trick is that by collaborating between all plan and twin motion, we can easily demonstrate the construction phase in a simple way by just hide and show the layer from all blend. So here to motion, we started to put in some construction equipment and vehicle. And then when we go back to all blend, we will just need to show the layer of the components step by step of how it should be built. And then we already see some foundation. And then we keep showing the layer of the structure so, because it's, it's all about realistic when we work with the real-time uh, engineering uh, rendering. So, at this point, we want to stop a bit and apply some realistic material uh, because we want it to look real. We don't want to look like very technical. Uh, we want to be more realistic because we, we like it. I think I like it. I hope you like it too. <laughs> Yeah, and not only a plot material, you can see that we can already like adjust and modify the attribute of the material, the, the firmness, the reflective, the rustic, like on, on how each of the material should be. So this is also the way that we demonstrate how the bridge is built. And after the, the structural component, now we have with the finishing component, the road surface, and the railing, yeah. yeah, by just, again, we just go back and forth between the two uh, software and do a few simple ones. And then we have all the components, and we start also applying material on that. So after set up the main, the main start of the show, now we want to make the whole scenario more lively, uh, which we can utilize the creation tool of Twin Motion, and then we will put in some other components. Uh, we can adjust how the feature around look like, the water on the road after a rainy day. Yeah. So now the thing we need some vehicle that we can utilize a very colorful and very realistic library that Twin Motion can provide us. So we can use in a few simple clips. Yeah, we have the car now, the bus, and we also have the crane that are doing their job. We can also have the freedom to adjust the color, uh, put in some animal like the bird. Human, or this always there's going to be always some human around, and what else? Yeah, so at this scene, right, we want to somehow make the scenes more beautiful by have a little bit touch up on the topography. You can put in some rock, some flower, just all the thing, all the action here is to bring to serve for one purpose, like to make the thing more realistic. So now we are here at this point that everything is set up, the material, the natural, the context. So we want to make some final product of animation, some fly through to serve for bigger purpose like marketing. Twinmotion also provides us the capability to do that in a very quick uh, rendering progress. So after this, we will play a demo of an animation that has been pre-made and hope you enjoy it because it's going to be the end of our show today.
Thank you very much for being here.